North Korea blew up one of its own cities by accident. North Korea fabulously blew up one of its own urban cities accidentally during a ballistic missile test last year. Last April, when Kim Jong Fatty shot off a Hwasong 12 intermediate range ballistic missile, it sadly couldn't even deliver a short range. Instead, it crashed in the city of Tokchon, located about two hours from Pyongyang. The missile was launched from the Pukchang airfield, but things went haywire as it flew 24 miles to the northeast, blowing up industrial or agricultural facilities in Tokchon. In the meantime, while North Korea is busy annihilating itself, what's Orangina doing? Bragging about the size of his bigly button. Wonderful. Kim Jong-un orders you to keep watching. How serious is the North Korean anthrax threat? New reports from South Korea have raised fears that Kim Jong-un's government may be using anthrax to develop deadly biological weapons. One of at least four soldiers who defected from North Korea had anthrax antibodies in his system, suggesting he was either vaccinated or exposed to the virus at some point. The North has also reportedly begun testing loading anthrax into intercontinental ballistic missiles to determine whether the bacteria can withstand the high temperatures of atmospheric reentry. Anthrax is caused by exposure to Bacillus anthracis spores. It causes flu-like symptoms and can kill 80% of those exposed within 24 hours unless antibiotics are administered. South Korea's Centers for Disease Control and Prevention bought 1,000 doses of anthrax vaccine for agents or civilians. The Blue House, South Korea's executive office, has an additional 350 ordered by the previous government. Fears of a biochemical attack come just weeks before the South is set to host the 2018 Winter Olympics. Kim Gets Chemical This subhuman has chemistry that's got Asia and the U.S. on edge. Reportedly, the Wellifant now has his booms loading anthrax onto intercontinental kabooms. Who knew he was a fan? He certainly doesn't look like your average metalhead. The North reportedly holds 5,000 tons of the garbage and other nasty stuff in stockpiles. 5,000 tons, huh? Somebody's overcompensating. Traditionally, ICBMs are supposed to go like this. But almost always, the Norths go like this. That's right, Kimmy. Projectile dysfunction is a wider problem than believed. But if you want to man up, you could drop gloves with the commander in derp in the octagon. It might not go the way you think. Yikes! A crew on board a Cathay Pacific flight saw a North Korean missile blow up over the Sea of Japan last week. Cathay Pacific Flight CX-893 was en route to Hong Kong from San Francisco on November 29th when the crew saw the missile from their plane as they were passing over Japan. Those on board had a first row seat to watch the DPRK missile blow up and fall apart on re-entry. The crew immediately contacted Japanese air traffic control to report the incident. Cathay Pacific says it has no plans to alter its routes in the region. It's not like you really have to worry about the North Korean missiles anyway. It's the U.S. ones you need to watch out for. Pyongyang's launched its latest ballistic missile test last Wednesday despite international sanctions and warnings. Ooh, sanctions and warnings. North Korean defector's stomach full of nasty parasites. The contents of a recent North Korean defector's stomach paint a hopeless picture of what life is really like inside the hermit kingdom. The North Korean border guard was shot several times while fleeing across the demilitarized zone to South Korea last week. Medical staff treating the defector say they found numerous parasites inside his body. Several of these were removed from his digestive tract, including one 27-centimeter long roundworm. They were likely caused by farming practices in the north where human excrement is used for fertilizer due to a lack of chemical fertilizer. Known as night soil, this practice is notorious for spreading parasites and disease. And that god-awful practice was championed by this guy. And he's full of it. Very full.